Junantinich is one of Belize's most accessible Mayan ruins. Getting there is only a short trip from nearby San Ignacio, followed by a ride across the Mopan River on a hand-cranked ferry. From there, it's up the hill to Junantinich. Yeah. No PA system. So this building, one, two, three. Triatic. Yeah. You saw caracol above? Yeah. Tripod. Yeah. Get it? Yeah, yeah. The plaza and three buildings around. Tripod, see? The heart of creation. El Castillo. At 130 feet, this massive structure is the second tallest building in Belize topped only by Kana at Caracol. The frieze adorning El Castillo's eastern face is a magnificent sight to behold. El Castillo certainly lives up to its name. Climbing this imposing ruin feels like you're ascending some mighty castle up into the clouds. So Tikal, Caracol, Shunantunich. 55 miles apart each. That's amazing. Onward to some of Junantinich's other wonders. These are the only pillars like this in all of Belize. Poison wood, you've heard a lot about it. it. Gives you a rash if you touch it. But in nature, the cure for it always grows right next to it. This is gumbo limbo. It heals the rashes from that tree. In 2016, a major tomb was unearthed here. This tablet recording the death of Lady Batsak of Kalikmul was found within, alongside the remains of a man believed to have been Maya royalty. Obviously, Randy didn't live here in the time of the Mayans. This is why they've sealed off some parts of Junantunich because of people vandalizing it. Not good. <sighs> Two months ago. On June, July, uh, the Arizona Blackstar. 
Oh, this is new. <laughs> so important to see. Yeah. This looks like this for this. Thank you. A new mortar, new stone. We're going to look it open. Yeah. Yeah. We never do a building open unless it's restored. With our tour of the ruins finished, it was time for a final stop at the visitor center. Junantinich was the last Mayan ruin we visited during our time in Belize, and if you ever get the chance to go there, it is totally worth the trip.